Hi everyone, Tristan here with SUV RVing. We have another great rig tour for you today. We're meeting up with Danny, who lives full time with her dog in a 2015 Subaru Forester. She also has a YouTube channel called Pop Fizz Paper, where she does uh, she has a mix of crafting projects and crafting videos and uh, travel adventures. So go check that out. We'll put a link to that in the video description. Now let's turn it over to Danny for a tour of her rig. Hi friends, my name is Danny. I'm a full-time digital nomad and crafty adventurer. I travel around with my little buddy Archie here in my Subaru Forester. It's a 2015 and I split my time about half and half between campgrounds and stealth camping in town. So I do have a mattress back here. I believe it's a six inch foam mattress. It's a trifold from Amazon. It's the twin size, but I split it apart from the three different sections and just turned them. So I have two of the sections kind of laid out end to end here. I'm 5'7". I fit perfectly on here with the passenger seat pushed all the way up. And then the third section I cut down to be a little nook for my doggo to have a little bed of his own. That's the same as mine because i got to spoil the puppies. This is Archie's little bed nook situation. Um, I love having him snuggle with me, but he likes his own space, as do I sometimes. So he's got his own little bed area here. He has the same kind of mattress I do. He has a little doggo heating pad, lots of blankets, so he's nice and cozy. And then up here, I've used some eye hooks and I think a crocheting needle that fit perfectly through them to I guess hoist up this little basket thing. And this is kind of like my junk drawer stuff that I use fairly often, but just kind of went out of the way and I don't have to dig for it in like a bag somewhere else. So I have some sunscreen, I have some papers, I've got a dog's bone. And then in my little storage tower here, you can see I've got an Ikea cup hanging off that holds my little coloring pencils because that's fun to do. And then I've also got some books and things kind of tucked in the cubbies there that I've built. I normally sleep with my head up there at the passenger seat and I just keep my Jackery here so I can plug in his little heating pad. <laughs> Come here. Go here. I just have to hold him. I took out the back seats completely from the car so I could build just a flat platform. I did not raise the platform because I wanted more head space and I knew my mattress was going to be kind of chunky. This is the fan that I like to use. Um, it's USB powered, I think it also takes batteries. It's great, I highly recommend it. And I have a little hook just over here, right here I think, that I like to hang it on at night, just kind of keep it up and out of the way. I have the Jackery 1000, I like it. It works. Um, I don't have to charge it super often. I do have a solar panel, but more often than not, I charge it via the 12 volt in my car, or I will plug it into, I guess, shore power is what they call it. I have like a little jumper thing, pack, battery pack situation. I think the Jackery came with some, but I don't know where the cables are. And then down here in this little cubby, I just keep like the extra cords and things I need to charge my Jackery, depending on how I'm doing it. Uh, this is my kitchen that I built. I just use, I think, one by ones and plywood and some pegboard and it works great. Um, I fit it so that it would fit this little container here and I really lucked out that the mattress like fit perfectly otherwise. So then I have a little camp stove and then this is kind of my kitchen box. I just keep the pots and pans, salt, pepper, sponges, mugs, all the things that you would need. I don't like cooking, so I try to avoid it as much as possible. Kind of the most cooking I'll do is I'll just heat stuff up. Um, so that's why I have a little stove and different pots. I've got some little cutting boards, some little plates, um, some little utensils here, a knife. If y'all don't use vinegar to clean your dishes, I highly recommend it. it works great, it takes no water. So when I built this, um, I didn't want it to slide around in the car or anything, so I just used some L brackets to hold it in place. You can see I'm not a carpenter at all, but it works. And I have some little spices back there in the corner. Just kind of shove them in that hole. There's like a little gap back there. 
So I have this little arm here. It looks kind of weird. You might be wondering what it is. This is what I use to film my videos when I'm at a campsite or filming in the back of my car. I make crafty adventure videos, so it's kind of a mix of vlog, but also paper crafting, scrapbooking, things like that. Um, I share them with my crafty friends over on my membership site. And this is how I make my living, is <laughs> creating and sharing and you know being on the road at the same time. It's a lot of fun. My membership site is the popfizpapercraftyclub.com and that's where you can join, see more crafty videos, follow along with me, and I also have a membership level where I send out postcards from the different places I've been and that's one of my favorite things to do. Since I am a crafty adventurer, I need my craft supplies with me. As any fellow crafters will know, there are certain things you can't leave home without. Since I have my home with me, I have all my stuff here too. Um, here on top is again kind of a catch-all situation. I love my little, what is this, dusk, lap dusk thing. Works great, I use it all over the car, it's awesome. And then I have a scoring board and then just various art bin cases that hold all of my different categories of stuff. I love these. I built this storage tower to fit these cases specifically because I love them so, so much. And then down here at the very bottom, I will shove things like my cutting tool things and my glues and all sorts of other kind of randomly shaped things that don't quite fit into the art bins. I also have my ukulele because that's fun to do sometimes. And then over here I have my Tombow watercolor markers because I enjoy watercoloring. And then this little stack of containers that clip together hold things like extra makeup, first aid stuff, you know, just kind of random things that you don't need all the time but are nice to have. So I have a six inch foam, memory foam mattress from Amazon, like I mentioned. And I've got that on top of a rug and a thermorust pad, I guess, just to kind of help with the circulation as much as possible. And then I did build my own platform, as you can see here. And it's just two by fours and plywood. And since I removed the back seats, I was able to keep it pretty low, which is nice. And then watched one of Tristan's videos ages ago and he did this little like shelf type thing. We can hook it to the headrest of your passenger seat <laughs> and move it accordingly if you have a passenger or not. So I always have the passenger seat all the way open. Just have that extended and it's great. Below the platform, I have a bucket right now, but I also use these packing cubes for all my clothes and they fit perfectly. It's great. I can fit about like probably a week and a half's worth of clothes in all of them. So I've got one for shirts, one for bottoms, one for socks, one for under things. And it's, it works great. I like to pack every little nook and cranny. So I've got some extra shoes down there. I've got my Sizzix Big Shot. If you're a crafter, you know what that's about. An extra towel and then and there's a little bag down there with some tools like an ax and stuff just in case I need it. it works great. So I've got some Febreze here because that's always important. Uh, headphones. This is my blackout curtain that I use when I'm stealth camping. And it's actually a long narrow one. I just use it sideways. And I have some more books and journals. I kind of have books tucked into all these little cubby things because I love reading. Um, and then I have this little towel here because there is a little gap between the mattress and the wood. And like I said, Archie likes to snuggle with me, so this kind of extends the mattress a little bit. And then when the door is closed, there's a little gap here when I'm laying down. And I don't like my arm to feel like it's falling, so I'll just shove a little blanket in there and that kind of extends the width of the mattress quite a bit. It makes it really comfortable. So when I'm traveling with the dog, he has his own little bed set up right here. When he's not with me, my cooler lives here, but since he's here, his bed is here. Um, and my kid gave me one of these like seat organizer things. So I just keep all sorts of stuff in here. Extra medicine, postcards that I need to send out to crafty friends, my glasses, extra scissors, extra dog bone, stuff like that. Um, and then down here in the front, I have my dirty clothes bag. I love these kind of bags. You can just shove them and they work great. Another one for Archie stuff. I do have a little portable toilet down there because I wasn't sure what the situation was going to be here at the RTR. So 
I just brought it. I've got some dog food, dog bowl, extra water, extra drinks, and then I actually learned about this little guy in Tristan's Facebook group, so sometimes I'll plug this in as I'm driving and it'll heat up dinner for me because I don't like cooking. So for window coverings, I went with the Reflectix and I just stapled on some black poster board onto the back and they work great. Um, normally, if I'm camping out somewhere, I will put all the, the Reflectix up. I have some that are not covered in poster board that I will use in that instance. But when I'm stealth camping in town, I don't like to use these because they just tell people there's someone in there. So what I will do is I'll use that blackout curtain um, to put up behind the seats. Yeah, I've just put it all these for my windows. I really enjoy them. Uh, whether I'm stealth camping or not, I do have like a sun shield screen thing that I'll put up to give a little bit more privacy. It works good. So I'm really lucky that my Forester has this sunroof. So at night I will crack it open a little bit if it's not going to be raining or anything. And that's also why I have a little fan just to kind of keep the air flowing through here. I do encounter a bit of condensation, especially when I'm like in more humid areas or along the coast, but it hasn't really affected anything yet. And then I use these kinds of clips to just clip it up to the sunroof shade, I guess it is. Just kind of like fold it over and then clip the curtain in place. This is the kind of clip I use in the liner. So I'll put it in like this, like this way, and then I can just clip my curtain onto it. It's magnetic, but I don't trust the magnet. So. <laughs> just put it in there. That clips on there, and then I will usually tuck this around the seatbelt thing. Pull it around, fold it over, and then clip that there, and it blocks out quite a bit of light. Keeps things kind of stealthy, which is nice. It also keeps it warmer back here too, when it's cold. I have a Yeti cooler. I don't know what size it is, but it's the taller, kind of more narrow one. And I use this more for just like food storage. I don't have a fridge, but if I have something cool in here, like I've got some salami in here right now and some leftovers, uh, it'll keep them cool enough for like the next day or two. So I love this. I don't have a fridge because I don't really want to mess with having to worry about powering up my Jackery all the time. And then a pro to this is that I can use it as a seat when I am filming in the back of my car. It's the perfect height and it works really great. And then I have a fun place to put all my stickers. My mattress is in two parts, which I really like because I can just fold this back and then my solar panel this is new I like it so far works pretty great this is like the doggo Sorry. and then under here I have storage um, I moved my full-size spare up to the top roof rack so I could have the storage space here so it's just lifts up like this and I have it jam-packed. So I've got some nice shoes. I have like one nice outfit because you never know. Um, and then just a bunch of camping stuff, some extra vinegar, a Zago sleeping bag, a rope. I still have my stuff to jack up the tires or whatever I need to fix. Extra clips, a hammock, um, all sorts of all sorts of stuff under there. An extra fan in case the other one flakes out on me. I'm really glad that I did this and utilized this space because it just I don't have a lot of other storage, especially since I opted for more headroom. So this really saves me with like camping gear and car rescue stuff. When I need to film back here, I can use this as a desk area and it works really good. And then I have my Jackery here. And my little, I think this is a mic stand on the other side. It fits right in here. 
it supports my phone from flopping around too much and I can film straight down on whatever I'm crafting at the time. And then like I was saying, my cooler is the perfect height for me to be able to sit on it and craft away. And it works, it works great for what I need. I don't cook back here because I just find it's too much work to move everything. So I'll usually just put my little stove on the ground or the camp table. I've even put it on top of the cooler and that seems to work. It's just too much effort for me. <laughs> for bathroom things, um, I normally try to use just a public restroom at a park, a campground, grocery store, Starbucks, gas station, all those kinds of places. Um, in emergencies, I do have a little like coffee canister thing that I will use for number one only, usually only in the middle of the night if I need to. So Archie is my part-time travel little buddy here. I really like traveling with him. It's nice to have a little, little buddy to go around in fun places with. He is a little bit of a barker during the day, but at night I've had no issues, luckily. Um, he's usually pretty content in his little cubby with his heating pad on and he's good to go. Um, but I am terrified of him giving me away <laughs> when I'm stealth camping, but it hasn't happened yet, so maybe it won't. Um, when I have him, if I need to go into like a grocery store or something, I try to time it so it's either early in the morning or after dark when it's cooled down. That seems to work. I'll open up the sunroof or crack the windows for him. I try to go in knowing what I need so I can get back out pretty quick, but he does really good. Normally he'll just come into the back and chill out and keep watch of the car while I run into places really fast. He's a good little dude. He just lays while I'm driving and just chills in the sunshine and loves being where nobody else is. <laughs> so I do have a roof rack on top of my Forester because I wanted to use all this space underneath where the spare used to live. And also I wanted to upgrade to a full size spare. I'm kind of paranoid about having issues in the middle of nowhere and I figured I could at least have a full size spare. So that is held in place with a bracket onto the rack and I can just unlock it and get help probably to take it down if I needed to ever change a tire. But it's worked great and I don't have any issues. I'm glad it's there just in case. Thank you, Danny and Archie for sharing your, <laughs> your setup with us. Uh, let the viewers know uh, where they can find you and, and uh, follow along with your adventures. So I am Potfizz Paper on YouTube and Instagram and I am at potfizzpapercraftyclub.com if you'd like to follow along in that way. And if you guys have questions about Danny's setup or anything she has going on here, uh, leave a comment down below and we'll be looking at those and we'll answer them as we can. Thanks again for watching and thanks again Danny for Thank sharing you. and we'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to check out Adventure Know How, my new site, where you can gain access to a map of all of my free campsites, plus monthly bonus videos that you won't find anywhere else. Learn more at adventureknowhow.com. And for links to everything else SUV RVing related, visit suvrving.com. Links to these sites and more will be in the video description.